Cheryl writes, I'm struggling with my small pointed fingertips. They are numb, so I can only feel sharp edges. I've been trying to devise a way to either build up the edge of the sound hole so I can feel them, or to build up the areas between the holes to help guide my fingertips in place over the holes. In general, the issues of finger holes, especially for people who have uh, special, special conditions, peripheral neuropathy, for example, which can cause a numbness in your fingertips and all kinds of conditions. There are a lot of special needs out there, and we as a culture are striving to accommodate as many people as possible. Getting as many people as possible to play music is a valuable thing for our culture, especially for people who have these kinds of challenges. So we're looking at a couple of solutions to these kinds of problems that relate to finger holes, and this is one of them. Uh, this is a high spirits flute with these little uh, gems in between the finger holes, and you can use them as reference points to guide your fingers onto the finger holes. Uh, this is actually a flute I got from uh, Larry Hagman. Uh, he was uh, parting with uh, a portion of his flute collection, and so here it is on a flute cast video now. Another thing to point out is that this flute has very sharp edges to the finger holes. Uh, the sharp edges help you feel when you're contacting uh, against the edge of the finger hole. If the edges are kind of rounded and soft, you don't feel it quite as easily, and it's not as easy to make a, um, a clean seal. With this sharp edge, you can make a nice clean seal uh, and uh, cover the finger holes more reliably. Um, there are flutes with actual depressed finger holes, and in those depressions, um, you can rest your fingers and actually feel where your fingers should go based on the depression. So that might be a help depending on how they're oriented, especially if they're oriented in line with uh, the orientation of the finger itself. If the finger hole depression is uh, beveled so that it lines up with the fingers, those can actually help you feel where the finger holes go. Um, there were actually flutes that were made in the 1800s, I've seen instruments that were made in the 1800s where there's a raised edge to the finger holes, and that could be, I think, a real advantage. I have not actually tried that. These were in museum cases, so I, I couldn't uh, get access to them to actually uh, test this out, but I would think that that raised finger hole uh, would be an advantage. Difficult to do in modern flute making techniques for many of the flute makers who use lathes where the flute is turning and they're shaving down the outside of the flute to be perfectly circular. Um, uh, it would be very difficult to get a raised edge to the finger hole. Um, we also have a photograph of uh, Mike Prairie's solution. Um, this actually came up in a, uh, uh, a YouTube uh, discussion and Mike Prairie posted the answer to Cheryl, who raised this question, and this is his solution. Um, this is a, uh, a prototype using some uh, paper clips that he had available, and um, of course in this uh, era of 3D printing, where uh, lots of people have 3D printers in their houses, um, we can really do uh, uh, a good job, uh, especially possibly a custom job, setting up guides for fingers coming onto the, uh, onto the finger holes. I'm picking up this flute because it has an example of another accessibility for people with shorter fingers. This is a lower, larger flute, um, and it's got offset finger holes, finger holes that are closer to this one and this one especially, and to help people with small fingers, short fingers, uh, reach lower flutes. Okay, this could be done, not often done on mid-range flutes, but for certain people uh, with uh, special needs, they could... Um, uh, get access to flutes, uh, even if they have short fingers, uh, on the mid-range flutes, uh, if those fingers are offset. Um, there's um, uh, uh, actually a one-handed flute. Uh, Rich DeBay has done a uh, prototype. I don't know that there's more than one, but he has demonstrated this on YouTube. Uh, a single-handed flute, and it uses, it gets the entire range of flutes, uh, of uh, notes by accessing the upper keys, uh, the upper finger holes using extended keys, as on uh, classical instruments, like a, you see on a clarinet or a saxophone, where the player is using keys to reach much further away on the bore than they could with their fingers. So that's a, that's a keyed flute, and uh, I'd like to close with um, 
a, um, a woman who desperately wanted to play the flute. She absolutely loved the instrument, uh, but she had essential tremor where you have uncontrollable uh, vibrating. Uh, tremors in the in the hands, and I was absolutely at a loss for how to advise her. We tried certain things that were, nothing came close to one flute maker's idea, who made walking stick flutes, and he uh, made her a flute that went from her mouth to the ground, and it had a rubber stopper on the end, so she could brace it between the ground and her lips, and it gave her a solid reference, so she could put her hands on the instrument and the tremors were not an issue, and she absolutely loved this and played and played and played that flute. So uh, that's what I've got for uh, finger holes. Other ideas, please put them in the comments below. Uh, and uh, we're always looking to accommodate as many people as possible in this, in this instrument. Bye now.